Harlots lolling on the rocks, everybody. This is your host Nino, and I invented. Oh, hey, here he is. He's got a bit older, and he's looking so serious. Anyway, I invented a new tongue twister. Yeah, harlots lolling on the rocks. Huh? What do you say about that? Anyway, that one is in honor of all the male and female harlots on Instagram, which are trying to supplant the void of their lives by visiting faraway places instead of recognizing that the void will follow them on every step. We, on the other hand, are going to do a trip to the Far East, to China, without making a step from the comfort of our chair. Now, <laughs> the aim of this repetition, actually, of an experiment which I did in the past, is to get this a warm, fuzzy, cozy feeling of living in an Asian dystopia regarding internet liberty, where we see how it is like to live and to have access to the Chinese internet. That means we do want to stay confined behind the great Chinese firewall so as not to succumb to the lackluster temptations of the Western barbarians. In order to do that, we are using a Lubuntu virtual machine here. I have started Firefox, you know, just normal Linux machine. And here in Firefox, I have found on a list of internet proxies a SOX5 proxy, which under the general tab in the settings, you then set into the network settings. It's an IP address and a port. And this SOX5 proxy, in short, um, channels your traffic that way that it is as if you were in China while you surf with it. And perhaps not entirely so, because I, I didn't tick this DNS thing. But to tell you one thing up front, if you decide to repeat this experiment, the most difficult element of it, in fact, will be to find a working proxy. It turns out there are some proxies which are fast, but with an uptime of like 3%. Others are having a decent uptime and a ping of 25 seconds. It's like as if, what, as if you are sending signals to someone on the moon or on Mars or something like that. So that practically does not work too easily. But once you happen to find a proxy, um, don't learn to love it too much because these things are just vanishing into thin air all the time just as new ones are appearing and yeah when you set that up you can get to china now when you get to china it is important that you make clear that you didn't get by mistake one of those proxies which chinese use in order to circumvent their great Chinese firewall because you know normally people want to get out of a dystopia not into a dystopia so they're normally traveling the opposite direction of ourselves but <laughs> but there are some easy tests you can do so first test you see it right here I mean I can reload this you can see that you can see that the speed is less than impressive normally the idea is to ex to access gov.cn now, the Chinese governmental site should work definitely and in any case. Another thing you may try to do is to get to Baidu, Baidu.cn or Baidu.com as it should, um, you know, reload it. Oh, please don't let me have issues with my proxy again. <laughs> this is going to, is it or is it not? Is it or is it not? <laughs> this is going to show me Baidu.com. This is their knockoff of Google. You know, like um, the Chinese state being extremely creative has copied absolutely everything what the evil West did. And yeah, if you get to, to Baidu and to gov.cn, whereby Firefox loads it for an absolute eternity no matter what you do. Uh, I have here, so, like, 50, 60 megabit connection normally, so 
that shouldn't be the connection issue, it's just it takes forever. So we did load both Baidu and GovCN, that way we know that our, that our internet is in general working, right? People in China do have internet, they can access these sites. Next we try to access Google. So imperialist capitalists, let's see, will we reach you? Uh -uh. <laughs> and that's the point, we shouldn't be able to reach them. We shouldn't also be able to reach the evil British imperialists. How is that? Uh -uh. <laughs> Very good. So we have exactly the sort of thing we want to have. Problem loading page, no Google. Excellent. And there should also be no BBC, that's just gonna take for a moment. Ah, not secure. Well, that's interesting. I think normally it wouldn't even resolve, but we are, we are having our DNS resolution outside. It's just hap so happening that the access to the site should be happening inside, and it's not happening. Excellent. So, we are having Baidu, we are having GovCN, and what is particularly entertaining to do is if you try to access Yandex.ru. Now, that is the Russian knockoff of Google, just like Baidu is the Chinese. And the Russian knockoff is basi basically telling us here, you know, like I'm not perfect in Russian, but I understand enough that um, if you want to use the service from China, it is necessary to get in with an Yandex ID. So it's a completely crummy site, which does not look at all like Yandex normally would look. Uh, and it shows us that we properly have entered Chinese space. Uh, well, last time I was faced with that, you know, and I do not speak Chinese. So how do I mingle among the people without being sticking out, uh, sticking out like a sore thumb? I believe that sticking out like a sore thumb will be sort of unavoidable, but still there are some things to make our life easier. Now first of all, there are Firefox translations where I got this one, uh, maybe maybe it will tell what it is. Yeah, a Firefox extension to translate web pages. I'm actually rather fond of that. And what was it? Would I see now which extension it was? No, it is just like that. Anyway, <laughs> this this is a translation add-on to Firefox which is letting me translate pages either automatically or uh, upon me pressing the button. I prefer me pressing the button because otherwise uh, sometimes I have difficulties with the page not not working fully. I don't know where it hangs and why it hangs but sometimes it does and you see here I can now see things. What's interesting about this one is it doesn't use Google Translate but uh, Yandex Translate, and while I can't get to Yandex normally, apparently the translation service is working. And that lets me, on the other hand, um, see pages a little more naturally, right? Now, we can of course go back to the original too. Also, myself, I should be able to Google things. And I did find this nice page, dict.cn, where you can say things in English, and it is going to tell them to you in Chinese and you can nicely combine that with our add-on. And if I now translate the page, I will see what the Chinese would see depending on what I choose as translation. So a semi-new car or an old car. And that means that if I want to Google this, I'm going to pick the old car. Right? So I'm going to copy that and we are going to Google things in Chinese space, which goes on like that, and like that, and let's see when I'm getting used car results. That's apolitical enough, right? Like I hope used car doesn't happen to be any politician's nickname, just like Winnie the Pooh or something. So we are seeing here some trips and what not okay so we're saying translate and let's see whether Baidu understood that I want to see results uh, old vehicle recycling options now I want to buy a used car because I want to travel the countryside 
get like a free cowboy, so to say, you know. <laughs> so there we have old cars recycle, wholesale price markets, and so on. What would I, what would happen if I want to buy a? Oh yeah, that's WeChat. That's the equivalent of Facebook, but it's like a Facebook which is calling us from the 90s and would like to go back in time. So let's say we want to get a computer. How will you translate that one? Actually, I'm really curious what computer might mean in Chinese. There are again two options. Okay, translate. I can get a computer. Okay, I'm taking a computer. Whatever that means. And I should be able to buy a computer here, hopefully eventually. Pressing enter and buy do about my dear, buy do about. Are we gonna have it translated here? Yeah, do please. Apparently I can buy a computer, I'm curious for. Handful of yuan. You know, this is just like for a handful of dollars. <laughs> and let's see. Alibaba Cloud Computer. Computer it. First learn the skills re-employment promising. Yandex, your translation services perhaps need to be exercised a little bit more into the direction of Chinese. Computer, for high-speed calculation of the electronic computing unit. Is this some sort of Wikipedia knockoff? Oh, let's see. Yes. So th this looks exactly like that. I I am curious about that. Let's translate. No, I don't want the video. Please, please don't play the video. Don't do that. Just just like, you know, keep it to yourself. Okay. No, 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 no! I don't want you. Leave. No. Close this. Okay. Computer for high speed computing device. I can tell you one thing Chinese pop ups are just as annoying as Western pop ups. Now. Certainly that was not uh, Herman Helle gift. This must be Hollerith, actually. And guys, you're completely omitting Zuse. But yes, they do. They do show it here. I wonder how much from this is is actually just a straight knockoff of Wikipedia. It's interesting that they don't properly mention a lot of the other computer makers. In particular, the British had quite um, great, uh, great early research contributions, and and you know, in the beginning, everybody was trying to make a computer. They are somehow very much shortening things to the to the American point of view and to the American Center developments, which of course were the leading ones and, and have, so to say, taken over the world, but still in the early stage, a Manchester Ace or something would have been possible, right? Okay, so we do get to see a little bit something on computers <laughs> and a good explanation. For them, it must be really feeling so weird when they're looking at all of those boxes, they're certainly feeling and this is what we make for all of you. And if we were ever to decide not to make it, then you will face the Stone Age again. Pia. <laughs> and they wouldn't be wrong about that, you know. So, next thing we do, 
Now we did find out how to search for our computer. Let's search for something more interesting, huh? Let's search for... Shall we start with the Tiananmen Massacre or shall we first search for the Uyghurs? Uyghurs? Uyghur, yes, that, that one. I would like to have Uyghur. Now oh, we have it now. Very good. Let's translate it back to see which one we will be picking. Yes. Uyghur. We have it. Uh, okay, so we now know we will be putting the first one, maybe, or the Uyghur people. Maybe we should take the Uyghur people and human rights. That That's going to be interesting. So, show original. We're taking the Uyghur people. Okay. Don't be surprised, these were some other proxy servers I was trying. That was not too that was not too successful as a general enterprise. And let's try human rights. That's a short expression, right? <laughs> I really wonder what it is what it is what I hope that it is. So, Yandex, translate please. Is this human rights indeed? Yes! Very good. We're taking now the human rights. And let's see what we find about human rights in connection with the Uyghur people. Uh, you, you will be less happy, right, <laughs> if I search that. Okay, so I'm just, you know, turning you off here. <laughs> don't like to be watched by you while I'm looking for Uyghur human rights here. <laughs> so what do we find here? Hmm? What I find interesting and not a bad solution is that Baidu is having these three moving dots where where you are waiting for that and given the generally slow connection this seems to be a not bad solution actually so we are now going to get something about the Uyghur human rights hopefully and not just a visit by their secret police uh, <laughs> so what, what do we see here translate I see here a lot of very happy Uyghurs. Hmm. I I'm really curious. Come on, Yandex, do it a bit faster. I want to see the really good stories about the very happy Uyghurs. Apparently a lot of them and I want to read them. Come on, Yandex, you can do that. Stop loading and start translating. Yeah, translate. Yes, the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act. Three hours ago, the Xianjing human rights issue of the virtual and the real Japanese scholars there has a brighter future. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm curious about that one. And let's see here. And what, what what was this? This is that one and that one. That's gonna load for an eternity anyway. And then we're having here a little bit of a naked political intrigue. And some Ho Chi Peng is worried about the discrediting of something by someone. 
Anyway, we want all of these translated. So Yandex, put yourself in shape. Show us what is happening with the Uyghurs. And uh, now that we have translated that, 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 and that. And... Oh, no, that's the original, actually. Okay, very good. So, according to U.S. media before the disclosure, the U.S. Department in a report submitted to, to contrast a report outlining a plan for China... Da, 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 to exert more pressure, raised concerns. Some foreign ministry spokesman, who hopefully isn't just 13, <laughs> is uh, talking that is saying basically that this genocide is without any uh, any factual basis. And you know, every, everything is just perfectly great. We are just seeing here Xinjiang social stability and prosperity parity, people, peace and contentment and the western media and political for forces with their phobias and, and on their super in their superficial investigation couldn't get a correct picture. I'm very happy to have read the correct situation regarding the Uyghurs so you know uh, so that we are here presented with the correct fact about Xinjiang people, safety, peace, and happiness. Yeah. And that it's all about the money in the West. Mm -hmm. A more happy and peaceful life. And the away Chinese human rights development path. That might be some separate Chinese human rights development path. I must say, uh, very, very remarkable is the fact from my perspective that they are here presenting this so so openly that the ones are saying this and we are saying that uh, in in my previous experiment it was practically impossible to find anything about the the Uyghurs and here they are saying that actually they are they are prospering and they are fine so they don't say you know um, everything's terrible with them that that's clear but they are also not completely silent on the issue like there is something happening <laughs> and and they talk about that so i must say that is what is this okay we are having now a second news article this article china network yandex seems to be a sort of uh deserting us show original translate on this page we don't seem to get a very good translation uh, that was actually interesting I would have loved to see the original is not English the original is show original Ugh, this this is getting crazy here anyway let's lead about the uh, national unity, harmony, prosperity and development and how the international community has made a positive evaluation of the Xinjiang human rights career achievements <laughs> I do wonder who the international community is Ah, the Xinjiang ethnic people live in happy abundance apparently and the cause of human rights is constantly new development and progress that is ah there is some malicious discredit by some international forces okay fine fine yeah then then something is being condemned about it but well apparently not not too much and the United States, yes, of course. F finally you say it, right? Finally you say it in 2022 in May. Xinjiang, the United States, does not have any qualifications and according to the Xinjiang situation of a human rights judge. Yeah, when you let the Russians translate your Chinese into English, this is what's happening. 
Uh, okay, translate. Very good. I love this. I love these translations. The Autonomous Federation of Trade Unions Vice Chairman of All the Wood said that some <laughs> large scale forced labor lies. I must say, I am absolutely astonished. I would have seen it as sort of impossible just some two or three years ago when I was doing this the last time to find anything like that. And we're here having forced labor, genocide and other topics. Very good, very interesting. So I can say from this, if we are Chinese and not completely, uh, you know, and not completely navy, from this we can understand very clearly what the issue is. And while they are presenting a point of view, they have advanced in presenting it a little bit more a little bit more objectively if that can even be said because in the past they were not mentioning this at all or only in some hidden form but but this one is telling everything just rather <laughs> uh, rather rather clearly if, if you are able to read between the lines. Here we are having also trips to Xinjiang investment to try to help Xinjiang poverty alleviation rescue that is apparently to foster investment in Xinjiang. So they are talking of course about their little economical influence project, their Belt and Road initiative. And in general, one might say, oh, here they are saying, if Xinjiang presence of a lockdown on human rights, local development is impossible. Uh, and here they are giving you ridiculous numbers, which the West isn't actually saying, but that might be, of course, just a Russian mistranslation of the Chinese. <laughs> uh, they are saying, essentially, that we are doing nothing in particular because if we were doing it then the region would be just like crashing down. And is the use of the Japanese parliament to engage in Mongolia separatist activities? Ah, the Japanese are helping the evil separatists. Okay, I get it. And, you know, the Chinese no longer for food and clothing, clothing lives to worry about. So, as long as you're having food and clothing, uh, there isn't anything to complain. That, that apparently would be what, what is understood as leading a dignified life. Anyway... All in all, one might say, we now understand that, uh, well, these very, very happy Uyghurs might not be the exactly uh, average person there. They are now at least addressing the issue surprisingly clearly. When we see something like that, we should honor it. So I'm ready to say, bravo, China. Not exactly bravo for what you're doing, but, but good that the development is going into a somewhat better direction than it used to be just a couple of years ago. But we won't stop there, because you know what? How about Tiananmen Massacre? No, no, Tiananmen and Massacre separately. Yeah? So, we're looking first for Tiananmen. Tiananmen Square. Hmm? I, should, I should look for Tiananmen Square, hopefully. Okay. Is this... This seems to be the thing, right? Because we're seeing here the same hieroglyph as... Hieroglyph group was down there, so... We're going to translate it back. <laughs> the next stop is Tiananmen Square. The next stop was Tiananmen Square. Both these buses do not lead to Tiananmen Square. This two-way bus does not have to Tiananmen Square. So, so there you see how this translation really is going that we're getting here. And this seems to be indeed the correct translation. 
So we're going to take now the Tiananmen Square and we're going to copy it. And now we want to see Massacre. Okay, and now we are saying translate that Holocaust fiasco thorough beating apparently. No, no, I do think that uh, we will be going more with uh, with something else killing. Now let's find something which is not entirely not entirely cuckoo. So it's not the Holocaust, right? That that's still a little bit worse. But murder will actually to make someone tired and charming. Verb kill the present participle. Yeah, I do believe. I do believe that the present participle was murdered in some way. Uh, <laughs> no, no. It, it it just shows you that killing is a participle. So we're going to go for murder. So we're going to have Tiananmen Square murder. And we'll see wh whether we will find anything. Very good. Now that we got that, we are just a, a random curious Chinese teenager who wants to find out things. And last time I was indeed seeing some far away historical event that was connected to it. So this time <coughs> so we're having here a flag raising ceremony. We're having here another flag raising ceremony. It is unusual that only few tourists are there. Uh, typhoon has struck. Falun Gong is doing something oh so evil again according to official interpretation you know they are like a sort of sect which is getting quite prosecuted of some customers. So far I don't see anything which would you know, point to something else having happened on the Tiananmen Square. So there you see a little bit of a contrast. Uh, some two or three years ago when I did it the last time, the Tiananmen Square was scoring about as much as the Uyghurs. But in this case we're getting more on the Uyghurs than on the Tiananmen Square massacre. And yeah. Oh please, Russians, translate it. Translate it today. Okay, that, that doesn't seem to be working. I'm getting some hostile doubt ridden the founding of the first case which shocked the entire world, some four girls killed, some terrorist case. Tiananmen Square incident vindicated. That would be like the first thing we see which would in any way point to some incident. And perhaps I should have been looking for incident in the first place. But then I will find all the incidents of, I don't know, somebody spilling a bottle of water, somebody losing his, uh, his money or something like that. There are a lot of incidents, but I mean a very particular one. Oh, oh, what's that? Let's see. Some 1976 King Ming festival. Oh, that's lovely. That's like not at all what we're interested in. But yeah, it seems to be a really, really long story. All right. This isn't really working. 
Now, suppose A, we are in China, and B, we want to read the news outside of China. Let's try that. So we have seen that we can't find here anything sensible, and we would like to read something about the Tiananmen incident uh, outside of China. Right? So we're going to go again to Baidu.cn, which entertainingly has so far copied Google that even the search modifiers are sort of the same. So we are now going to look for a newspaper, British newspaper. Uh, don't even try the BBC, there is no such thing as the BBC. The Telegraph was working though at some point. And site.co.uk. What do we find here? Some British newspaper archive. Oh, on British newspaper archive.com or what or dot co dot uk. Wait a minute. That is interesting. So we're having Oh goodness gracious, there seems to be Okay, let's just try with British news. Hmm? I don't want a British newspaper archive. Like, I do want it once, but I don't want it all the time. So we're in China and we want to read some British news. Today minus news, C-O-U-K. It might be better than nothing, right? So we don't see who knows what. But there are a couple of sites. Hmm? So let's try today news. Let's open news dump co uk. Sounds like a link aggregator. That means it should be giving us more links. More than the news. Oh please, just the news <laughs> would have been a better name, right? Uh, we don't want to have all the time opinions and about this and that. Oh, News CO UK. Okay, that might be something. And it is starting to load. We're down for maintenance. I don't know, is that true and did it really happen? Okay, outside of this little research topic we might be looking for British Newspaper Archive COUK Okay, that's just great I'll tell you something, I just visited that site through my cell phone, which is not in China right now, and guess what, the site is not down for maintenance. This is bullshit. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. It, it is really, really funny to see to see it in, in two screens in a completely different way. Here we're down for maintenance, over there everything is, is accessible and I can search for people and places. Ha! Now I can search for people and places apparently too. Very good. I'm going to search for Churchill. Hmm? Should be possible to search for Churchill or Nelson or something like that, right? So. dating from the 1700s. I don't really want to know about some Lord Churchill's heritage. I really want to see something about the Second World War. Hmm. Should should be possible, right? Yeah, yeah. Search. Meanwhile, let's look at the News UK. You're going to get here like the weirdest ideas of newspaper articles because the main news are of course blocked. Uh, what are we having here? Ah yes, the Telegraph. 
Now the telegraph was a very strange sight last time. So So you see this is indeed a uh, news aggregator. If I'm going to go to Russia for instance, like let's see how the story with the sanctions is developing. What will we be seeing here? And then we are having some today news, but today's news seems also to be just a news aggregator. In fact, even the same. Yes, and then here you're having something about an entire battalion. Everything is loading slowly, like so slowly that you feel as if it's the 1700s when you are trying to find here something. Okay, forget, forget that. Uh, look for the queen. Hmm. If that doesn't work, then I don't know. <laughs> then, then the site is pointless, you know. Nope, we're not gonna get anything about Russia, and. That is a very interesting property of their great Chinese firewall. It is oftentimes indeed so that you will see some link that you can click, but once you do it, that's where you end, in the nowhere. And that seems to be a sort of, go back recommended, <laughs> that seems to be a sort of censorship measure where you are not baby sit it all the time like there isn't someone babysitting you permanently to say here you can uh, do do this you cannot do that but it's more like sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you decide yourself whether it was a very very good idea to come here let's hope you're not doing something illicit it's may first work but then it won't and in the meantime we're watching exactly what you're doing so Okay, anyway, let's try the telegraph simply. Telegraph.co.uk. Was that its address actually? Let's see. Co. Should be the telegraph. France to do something here. Oh, look! France to impose tit for tat quarantine on British visitors. <laughs> look at the ununified European Union! France is doing something against its formal EU member. Okay. So, what do we have here? You see, the telegraph looks right now sort of normal right and you're here having here a pretty much as it would look and and the telegraph is still one of the best british newspapers you can access so <laughs> go figure about how much choice you might be otherwise having we're going to be going now to look for something I want to look for China. I'm curious, what is the Telegraph telling me about China? Today news again went to hell. News dump is just going to go to hell like today news. The moment you click on something, it's first there and then it's not there. Yes, these News UK uh, The Sun and The Times and The Sunday Times what what the hell even is this? I don't know. But let's say... I, I can't press here actually to search and... Uh, because I'm going to search otherwise with Google. The Sun newspaper. What is this? Was it, is its address? The sun.uk. Okay. CU.uk. Can I reach the Sun? And... Actually... Can I reach a Bulgarian new paper? That would be interesting. Or perhaps 
I am Bulgarian, so for me that will not be a big issue. Question is whether I'm getting to there. I also try some German ones, Spiegel.de, where last time I could not go, and Focus.de. And from Austria we shall try Wiener Zeitung.at and Der Standard.at as well as the Paresse.com. So we've been practically now all over the place and let's see what's happening elsewhere. So here France is being oh so very evil. Oh, we're getting here things rather normally. Here. Can I search for things finally, please? I want to search for stuff. No, I cannot search for stuff. Yeah, that's great, right? The sun is not accessible. This British newspaper archive said goodbye. It's interesting, you get access to the telegraph, but you do not get access to the telegraph's search function because you might be using that search function in order to search things and things they possibly didn't index as dangerous and time. So that's what it looks like. Also, I want to see where I'm going to get a VPN because, yeah, I'm just, you know, interested in it. As a Chinese, I shouldn't be getting a VPN. But maybe I'm not such a good citizen as I'm supposed to be, huh? Uh, and let's try some household names. Hmm? Let's try NordVPN, let's try Pia, let's try uh, Ivacy, let's try uh, What other providers does one get to the idea to use? Uh, we're having S ExpressVPN, right? VPN and whatever. I mean, this should be enough to, to find us lists of VPN services. Here, the connection timed out on the search. No, we need to begin. Not nothing it was loading here so far, except for Wiener Zeitung, which finally starts to load. Congratulations, Austria! You did it first. Yeah, nothing like that. Not gonna get it. That's re regrettable, but a fact. I'm also not sure how much of it is China and how much of it is Firefox. Because you remember these jokes about Internet Explorer in the past, how slow it was? Well, Firefox, what shall I say? This, these jokes started to become less funny. <laughs> now we're going to go here. We're having Focus.de, Spiegel.de. I'm slightly tempted to just, um, you know, give you a little break and see what we can load here. Gonna do that. All right, back we are. That was an eternity in loading pages. What you see here is a site I'm rather fond of called Dexilogos. <coughs> it is apparently accessible also from China, where I can type Cyrillic. That is, it is immediately uh, transferring it, like you see, whatever I type. And this gives me the possibility to cut that and perhaps search now for the Tiananmen place. What is interesting is decisively how some of these sites look. I have now opened a couple of foreign media sites. I insisted that I get the search page of the Telegraph, but I don't. Uh, in particular, there isn't anything where I can click and search. Like It's as if this would be the search page, but I can't search. Hmm, <laughs> Not so great, right? Uh, yeah, I can try it again, but nothing will happen. Here is a Bulgarian newspaper. What's interesting in that is that it is close to what I call a skeletal site. This has also happened to Wiener Zeitung, which is uh, the Viennese, uh, so to say, state-run newspaper. This is looking better than it used to look in the past, but it's not exactly as it is looking in reality. There, there are some changes to it. 
And now here I'm going to try to find something about the Tiananmen place in Bulgarian. In the past it was possible to circumvent their censorship a little bit by using a language for which they haven't implemented a particularly good detection. For it is rather difficult to to understand languages well enough in order to truly confine people, so most of those efforts are... Ooh, <laughs> I did get it. Uh, that's it, it vanished, just like in thin air in front of my eyes, shouldn't have ever tried that. So, sometimes that works, though right now not. Hmm? Apparently the main things have been translated. Sometimes you can click yourself forward on such sites by not searching directly for the forbidden term, but by simply approaching it from other angles, like, I don't know, like, uh, you know, uh, you can say end of the 80s, beginning of the 90s, uh, news periods, and then you go to East Asia, and then you go to China, and then you try to find it there. Here we are having a German uh, magazine, Der Spiegel, actually a very well-known one. In the Spiegel we are going to look for Uyghurs. Uh, let's hope that we will not get the side vanish in front of our eyes in thin air. We will do the same thing in focus, just here we will be looking for Tiananmen. In the Wiener Zeitung we can search again. Well, let's see. Will I be allowed to search? Der Standard in Austria doesn't work. It seems to be noting that something is uh, amiss and is telling us essentially, sorry man, but that uh, device through which you are trying to access the page uh, won't run, so we can close that one. Die Presse, another Austrian no newspaper, is not working particularly great, but uh, perhaps we can still look for Uyghurs, Uyghuren. Uyghuren, without the H. Ha. That's a thing which it was in the past sometimes tricked, that in German you're writing Uyghurs without an H. However, look at this Spiegel, Uyghurs, Pock, no connection. Focus, Tiananmen, boom, no connection. Novinite, searching for Tiananmen in the Bulgarian name, Pock, no connection. Let's see what the Presse will be doing. But, man, this has significantly improved. Oh, the press is gone too. And now, after I have done that, it would be very interesting to see can I even access the main site again. Because their blocking mechanisms in the past were sometimes dynamic. That is, you do anything, like in quotes, stupid on a site, like I just did, and you see systematically I can't access a thing. It was having an interesting habit of blocking there after the entire site. Like, if you, my dear Nino, are so certain that on this site we can find something about the Uyghurs, how about you not visiting that site ever again? <laughs> uh, sometimes it was allowing it, but, but not always. That was sometimes an interesting dynamical decision. So we're going to Spiegel, and we're going again to Novinite, and let's see on which of these sites I may go back and on which not. And Wiener Zeitung, what am I looking for? Travel, of course. So, yeah, but I can't click it, huh? Because you see, this is, this is what I tell you. This website looks as if it was taken apart and recreated. Like, you can go to uh, Wiener Zeitung.at, like .at, and, and you can open it and compare it with this weirdness that you are right now seeing. For instance, that should be a different font. That should be a much more older looking font. A font they apparently didn't have implemented in their system. And so, you know, um, it's not shown, not shown as it is shown in reality, if you try to access that site from Austria. Also, there should be, if you were to open this in a normal bra browser, some um, forwarding to its e-paper and something 
like like it should be just right under here under top team and Ukraine actual and so on you should be having here another link the link is not here so this side is what I call a digested site you can still read it but some of its functionality is taken away and clearly the search button which I'm right now clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking doesn't work well politik let's see maybe I can like maneuver my way through but you see now none of these sites work like I, I, I was so 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 funny huh? to try to look here for things I shouldn't have been sticking my nosy nose into and pom well then perhaps my reading habits need to be a little bit adjusted I must say the great Chinese firewall is generally operating just the way I had it in memory last time so ah yes the telegraph search function still not so showing an actual search field and the others might now finally connect somehow here I'm getting into politics maybe from politics I can surf on to China I do get back to Spiegel okay but Oh ho. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, right now the war in Ukraine is still entirely uh raging. Uh but if I was looking again for Tiananmen. No, no, this time I'll look for something different. At uh, this time I'll look for the Uyghurs. Maybe maybe they're written this way. I'm actually not even sure how they're written in Bulgarian. Okay, let's try it this way. Let's see what I'm going to find anything regarding them here. So I'm not going to look for, Ti for Tiananmen again. It caught that just nicely and sent me to hell. The Spiegel and Focus seem to be back Oh, very good, very good. So, Spiegel focus. Can I? Can you focus here on focus? What's happening here? Find out about continue reading with ads. Yes, accept and continue. Mm-hmm. And we're going to say, what were we? Oh, we were looking for Uyghurs. That was a stupid idea, of course. Going to look for Uyghuren which would be the German way of calling them Uyghuren let's try that focus I'm now going to look for um, Spain Spanien just in order to see whether anything here is still working Spain shouldn't be a censored topic All right. Now that's remarkable. I was indeed able to find articles on Uyghurs, though not very friendly ones. <laughs> uh, articles on Uyghurs in this newspaper. So Tiananmen it caught in the most brutal way whereas Uyghurs were still possible to search Wiener Zeitung is... Uh, this is Firefox, I have the feeling this isn't even China right now, <laughs> this is just Firefox so here we are having a little bit about politics and, and so on and uh, internal Austrian things let's say I want more from world politics Weltpolitik, so I'm clicking on Weltpolitik And here we go. 
Actually, I am able to find things in some way regarding Uyghurs. This has indeed changed. Question is whether I'm able to actually click on anything of these things. Uh, and I'm not even sure that these are correct um, links which will even work. But let's see, there was an article on China actually. I'm Bruchim Wachstumsmarkt. Okay, so market is not going very well. Let's 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 look at this. There's some alarm at Adidas that something isn't really working. Okay, cool. We're we're taking that. And Focus can search things on Spanien, it just don't happen to apparently get any results, but at least the site doesn't vanish into thin air like last time. <coughs> okay, that seems to be another site. Here we are having uh, bloody troubles in China, 21 dead from April 2013 and this is exactly about the uh, Xinjiang uh, Uyghur Autonomous Region so if I can even click on this then it would mean that I am able to circumvent the firewall in the traditional way that is look for things in an unusual language and <laughs> Yeah, get them that way. Here we're having uh, China's, uh, uh, like, not China's, but um, Adidas problems in China, uh, in some manager magazine, that apparently something isn't quite working out, but, okay, I'll have to, I would have to pay in order to read this or something, which I'm certainly not gonna do. So, anyway, here, focus, again, no. <laughs> I was searching there for Uyghurs, I shouldn't be searching for Spain, right? So, Wiener Zeitung, we have finally opened things here from elsewhere. Oh, Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan is dead. Okay. What else do we have here? Uh, European Commission plans on limiting gas prices. Europe, war in Ukraine, Vienna. Oh, come on, man. Get me to Asia. <laughs> I want to, s to read about China, but right now I can apparently somehow see things. I'm going to go to Welt. I really want world politics. I, I don't care about Viennese politics, right? What happened with the press actually in the meantime? Yeah, I'm supposed to accept cookies because you're so much respecting my private sphere while I'm browsing through a proxy in China trying to Google things I'm not supposed to Google. Oh, that's great, right? So, Suche... Suche... Did I have here Uyghurs already? But Uyghurs are working. Let's try it. Yan... And men. Okay, finally I'm under world politics here in the Viennese newspaper. China! Very good some Hong Kong Cardinal Zen has been let free let go free after having been arrested let's let's see more about China in general okay there we are having ah uh, but these are protected. However, this one is not. Ooh, here you're having an interesting one. I'm very curious whether I can click this one in particular. The police in Hong Kong is searching the Tiananmen Museum and is removing um, pieces like these, uh, like, like the pieces which are shown in the museum, right? So let's see what's happening here. Will this work or not? <laughs> you got to be kidding me, I'm just in. Oh, 
Okay. Well, I get the text though. There is no site that could be shown. What the hell? Okay. I have no idea. That might be. Might be something else. Of course, an error, an error occurred during a connection to www.facebook.com. Oh, well, because there is no Facebook, right? There is only WeChat.cn. So, yeah, there you're having this cardinal here, which means that I can look now finally for things involving China. You see, I have clicked my way through, and now I'm able to find all the articles which are connected to China in general, even though the search field had been disabled in the original display of the page. Here, oh wow, we are having here a direct mentioning of a massacre from Tiananmen Platz, which even if you're not speaking German is rather clear what that is. So, in the traditional manner of um, extending your array of languages beyond English, you are indeed able to get to information on the Tiananmen massacre from inside of China uh, if you are, you know, persistent enough. Now, the question is whether you would be daring to do that, in particular after a couple of times sites were not shown, but I must say this experience this time, even though slow as always, was less restrictive than in some other times. You saw how direct searches were sometimes blocked very brutally, but I am still able to read um, about, about Xinjiang, I am able to read about Xiananmen, uh, p square massacre. I'm able to get to things, and one may say that the isolation of information from the outside isn't quite as brutal as I feared it may have become. In fact, by all means, it might be said that it is now somewhat easier than it used to be. And with that, I think that I have. Uh, sufficiently demonstrated here, well, the Chinese internet, we might go to WeChat.cn. I really want to see, can I get there a profile? Likely not, likely I'll miss it, mess it up somehow, but why not? So Facebook from the 90s, what is it like with you? Translate. I also want to have a nice social network profile. So something about public security. First spring, a thunder st startled all was Kai the station for a personal showing. What is this? Some sort of quotation. Internal exchange, exchange please get the invite. Okay. Do I have to click elsewhere? I, I thought that's how it works, right? Baidu, will you help me? Uh, Facebook of China. <laughs> Whatever way this is called. I, I don't know how to otherwise search for it. No, not really Facebook. You won't let me to Facebook, right? Like Facebook should still not work. If I now go here to facebook.com, don't tell me this is gonna work. Well, at least so far it doesn't. So... Perhaps... Or maybe I should look as Chinese social network. Hmm? Facebook is going nowhere, as it should. Very good. <coughs> Man, I have no idea. I'm getting some official communications. 
and what not why isn't there by the can you be really so bad I'm just going to google this on my smartphone in parallel Ch Chinese social network I wonder how much social credits I lost today with my actions <laughs> so 10 most popular sites in China Sina Weibo uh, pff, yeah maybe uh, it seems to be that Twitter right WeChat should be though they are Facebook so if I say WeChat won't I be able to chat if we chat and I also want to chat can't we chat all together I even have it in the App Store in Android I don't even need this here webwechat.com wow okay don't tell me this is going to be a phone site from the beginning of the 2000s because there is an entire possibility for that being the case can to log in to WeChat wake scene. I just just want to have it in English. Is, is there going to be a difference? And what happens if I don't want it scan but just change the web into www? Will I now get to some more normal version? Yes, all those happy people. <laughs> and I can get it on Windows for the Macintosh and what's that? Web WeChat, yes we want Web WeChat I've never seen WeChat, I have no idea what it looks like like I just hope that it's not like Instagram where there might be harlots lolling on the rocks Oh god, this is the web WeChat. You know what? I'm not going to become a member of WeChat. Not now. Not today. Instead, I am going to say I thank you very much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We're going to visit gov.cn in order to salute the governmental website on our way out. Ta-da! <laughs> and yeah if you ever visit the Chinese internet have fun from me that's all for today see you soon and goodbye